Hi guys, uh, this is Chris from Black Snow Cycles. Uh, recently, I, we got some questions from our customers. Uh, why there are so many uh, Turaxo uh, bikes for the uh, aluminum bikes, but uh, there are very few builders having the Turaxo uh, models. You know, the Turaxo model is getting uh, more and more popular in the recent years. So. Today, I would like to explain why the Thruaxo uh, model is not so easy for a uh, steel bike. Let's just uh, take a look at our model. This is uh, our uh, uh, introduced, newly introduced model called the Color Plume. It is our adventure model with the Thruaxo, especially the rear axle is uh, 148 times uh, 12. It is truly 100% uh, uh, reactor model. Uh, let's just uh, take a look at the raw material of the Thuraxo, of the dropout, sorry. And you will know how it is built. This is the left-hand side dropout. This is the right hand side drop out. As you can see, there is a thread inside the axle. And besides the thread, the also there is the we have to facing using the CNC procedure facing this side, which is connecting to the hub. With the CNC procedure, we can greatly improve the accuracy of the rear, rear axle. When you install the hub, you can, if the procedure is uh, accurate, you, you, can, you can feel that, you can assemble the, you can feel that the two, the two axle is in the same line. They are parallel, 100% parallel to each other. And you can you can feel that you can install the uh, screw the screw axle. You can screw it very easy, and it is inside inside the the dropper. It is one hundred percent connecting to the hub. So this is the additional procedure, which is quite different from our uh, quick release model and uh, uh, to rental model. This is an additional uh, procedure, uh, which means uh, additional cost, additional uh, time, and uh, design work. So not only this is the rear, rear axle. Also, today, i am also like to introduce our latest uh, front dropout of the blue axle model. Inside, you can see the black snow uh, logo inside. The CNC, CNC procedure is very uh, shiny. That's besides the other part, the central part is shiny. And one side, inside the screw, there is a thread. Uh, this drop pod will be used in our next versions uh, to axle the front front axle. So uh, that's the difference, and I think uh, it will bring some additional cost. But I think uh, you, a lot of people know the Draxel's advantage. It will can avoid uh, some additional problem after you uh, disassemble and reassemble the uh, wheels. The disc brake, collectors, etc., etc. So uh, that's today today's video. So if you have any questions, just uh, let us know. So uh, whatever you do, just enjoy enjoy your ride. See you next time. Bye.